terrible. Uh, back to buying GameStop shares. Oh no. Crap, that is loud. I don't know why this game is so loud of all things. Oh well. Game music loud! Sorry, sorry guys. I just wanted to check your hearing. This was a surprise hearing test, yes. <laughs> and by that I was wanted to delete your hearing. <laughs> no, no I don't. I would like you to keep hearing so you can keep hearing me. Anyway, I will do something of that intro again. So hello, this is Brandy Westwood Life in the Red Library and today we are playing more to the moon. Hello Noga Chan, hello Trevor Gamer, hello Void, hello Chase. Thank you for coming, Ninja Anime. I hope you have a good day at work. Um, Games up shares. Yeah. Um, would I like chapters 3 to 8 and Umineko as well? Uh, I, I mean, I, yeah, because I, mean, I would like to do the other chapters on the stream. Um, I just want to make sure I like, you know, have the time. They would be a bit more longer running than some of the other stuff we've got. Game music loud. You want a refund? No! No refunds! Your time has been spent with me and you are gonna get no refunds! But for now... Let's go to the moon! I can't say I'll stay along this time, boss. Headaches only for me. Oh, fair dues, Chase. Look after yourself. Don't... Don't force yourself to be here. If you got a headache, go look after yourself. Take some painkillers. Hello, Jabba Hop. Welcome. Where were we? Oh, yeah. I had enough stuff to do the thing. What did I have to use it on? Is it down this way? I can't remember what I had to use it on. No, was it the backpack? I'm sure it was with them that I had to use the thing. Was it not? Was it? Ah, yes, 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 it's right there. It was right next to me. I was just being blind as usual. No, no, no change there. Standard for any practice. Prepare the memento. Mm. Oh, this is pretty. Doing it in a four? One. One, two, three, four, five, no. Hmm. hmm. I'm glad. Jam, do you like the comp? We're gonna do it in five. I don't know, I wasn't sure how we do that in four. I need to turn it off my ears now. Ah, too loud. Let's do the time warp again. Where are we going? Where are we on the timeline? We're still an adult. An adulty adult. I'm an old size phantom and can't stay for the stream since I'm gonna get a haircut. <gasps> That's okay, you're gonna go look spiffy. Very important. Have a good haircut. Everyone with this is different, John. Just because she and I share a syndrome doesn't mean we share the same head. But you must be able to help somehow. Everything was okay at first, but now... She's even more aloof than ever before. Haven't looked spiffy since I was 24. Well, you're going to go to the hairdressers. I'm sure they will be able to make you look spiffy. <laughs> even when we're in the same room, she's never really there. It's starting to take a toll on me. Yeah. And all this is hard for people. The, the carers and people who care about you the most. I just don't know how to take it anymore. Although I feel like we've started too much of a pattern here after playing Firewatch not too long ago. 
Let's see if we could avoid doing another game about a husband and her wife's mental illness. <laughs> for the rest of the year. <laughs> if I had a nickel for every game I played this year that was about a husband and a wife's mental illness, I'd have two nickels! <laughs> well, I can't speak for her, but many of us do long for connections. Though, being able to articulate it is a different story. Just because she struggles to express it doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. She's still there, right? Sometimes you just have to... Sometimes you just have to have faith that she cares. That's pretty difficult to do, day in and day out. I know. Wait, but why do you seem so normal, Izzy? Because she is... Queen of masking. <laughs> I mean, don't you have the same condition? For one, I was diagnosed when I was still young. With effort, it's not impossible to acquire a guise of societal norms. But you know what? I both envy and pity River. You know what? I both envy and pity River. Me, I, I'm an actress. Because I've been doing it my all, all my life. Not only on stage, but off stage and practically every moment. I've gotten good at it. Because acting is the only option I have. It's the only way for me to be uh, normal. But River, she never did that. She remained an outcast and refused to learn to learn to step against it. <laughs> it's not a stream with a game and a husband and wife with mental illness. Umin so we're not allowed to play Umineko for the rest of the year. <laughs> Which is fine, because I still want to play more Higarashi first, because the first bit is a bit weird, but it gets so much more fucked up as you go, and it's great. We need to do more. I don't know if it was by choice or by limit, whether bravery or cowardice. There are days when I just can't stand faking it anymore, and then I realize it's too late. Oof. The Isabel that people know is all an act, and the real me has long become a stranger. I think in the end, I just envy her. This is crazy. What, what year did we, was it 20, 2011 this came out? Obviously, it feels like only recently like TikTok and stuff like that, that people have been talking more about mental illness and stuff like that. And I think that's maybe why I never got this when it was coming out. I just, I just didn't really, I did not click at all to what it's actually talking about. <laughs> Whereas I kind of understand more of this now, whether I like it or not. Ugh. Ha! I've never met a woman with it before. Then technically you still haven't met one. And this isn't part of our business, let's move. Oh, you can use the arrow keys as well. Oh, I thought you could only, like, click. The world would be easier on the eyes if people just remembered more faces, faces more often. Hmm? Probably would. What you reading? Anything new today? Does TikTok even pay you? No. But that's kind of why I'm grinding on it a lot at the moment. I need to get to 1k before it'll pay me on there. So, uh, you know, trying to get those revenue streams going. No. What are you rereading there? The Emperor's New Clothes. I loved this when I was young. Hey, wait, didn't there used to be a book thing that would display chat on stream? Um, yes. 
But then I started multi-streaming and Twitch has some really stupid rules about that. A lot of people still seem to do it, like seem to show mixed chats on stream, but it is technically against Twitch's TOS, so I can't really do that. Yeah. I do have one dance TikTok on my TikToks. And I, I'm very proud of my technical prowess to do it. <laughs> Still do, huh? Of course. Just for different reasons. When I was a kid, I loved the Animorphs series. Of course you did. I know. Your mother gave you a book. From it as a wedding present. As a wedding present? <laughs> yes, that one was an odd wedding present. Brainy needs a 3D animator to do that. Do I? Do I? No. Track down that TikTok and you will see my technical problems. <laughs> Did I ever mention that this jumper exists IRL? <laughs> That's more out of her pocket money. Yeah, my pocket don't have don't have too deep pockets, you see. But that's fine. I guess I was pretty obsessed when I was a kid. Why haven't you read them since? Hmm. I saw them. They're collecting dust in the garage. Well, I just grew out of them, I guess. I mean, they're children's books. Silly adults. What's wrong with reading children's books? They're comforting. I suppose so. There's nothing wrong with reading kids' books. I think I'm going to get this one. Is there anything else I can click on in this area before I just stalk these two? I'm not gonna get on TikTok to look for a British person dancing to Sparks. I think it's kind of weird. I wish it was dancing to Sparks. Also, that's not weird. People look on weird look at weirder things on TikTok. What? Oh, he's everywhere. He's multiplied. I'm not yours. You're not mine. Be my anti-Valentine. <laughs> hey, River, this one's not that corny. River? Hmm. But what about David? He's my favorite character. Uh, I don't know. What are you talking about? Animorphs, have you read it? No. Yes! Really? Sort of. <laughs> Watch the TV show! <laughs> oh, oh, so you know what animal is. So you know what animal is David's main at morph? Uh, I don't! But I bet I can Google it. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. One second. I'm just gonna mute a second. So I just yelled at my boyfriend because he happens to be in and he does know a little bit about animals so I wondered if he'd actually know but he does not remember that far back which is fair. So uh, I have no idea. How about uh, a zebra? <laughs> zebra! That's how you- that's it. 
That doesn't sound right. Don't worry, I'll find out for you. Okay, so what does this one say? Does he know? Good morning, Snowjack. Welcome. Uh, but I need to know. I'm gonna Google it. I'm gonna go. I don't. I don't want this bit to be skipped and to like not know what David's animal was. Animal. David. Let's have a look. There was a human who found the device and became the seventh animal. However, he soon proved to be treacherous and psychopathic and attempted to betray and later murder the animorphs. How terrible. Yes, I did Google animorphs. That's exactly what I'm reading. <laughs> I need to know. Going as far as murdering, murdering Sadler in order to morph into him and live his life, not wanting the animals to commit murder. Cassie arranged to, for David to be trapped as a white rat and left marooned on some rocks. Oh my. Wasn't animal for book says about people turning into animals? Correct! That's exactly what it was. He was a lion? Let's try a lion. Cause I ain't lying. No, wait, that's two L's, isn't it? No. no? Did I spell lion wrong? L I O N, right? L I O N. L I O N. No, it's not a lion. I didn't spell it lon, it's just I used a capital I and a capital L and they both happen to look exactly the same. Hmm. Maybe there's another way I can find out? Because the internet's not helping me. Maybe, maybe the story will tell me before we, we move on. Oh, what's in here? No. There we go. Tobias, Hawk, Rachel, Grizzly, Jake, Tiger, Marco, Gorilla, David, Cobra! There we go! Oh, just wondering. You could have Googled it. Shut up! I just tried to! <laughs> Game! I just used two normally very reliable sources of information. One being with a boyfriend and one being Google and both of them failed me. <laughs> okay, so we know what it is. It's a cobra. And what the small a? Where's the small bit? Oh yeah, Cobra! Heck yeah. Game back seats like how I do. <laughs> I really wish they kept the old covers instead of these plain sheets. Those were cool. Okay, we got it. Uh, what's the, the thing? Oh, it's this book. Ah, it's the, the cover of the Emperor's New Clothes. Okay. Uh... 
Nope, I messed this up. We've messed this up. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Oh, all day. Okay, I can figure this bit out. No. Uh, made you think of a Lamia? Like the fish ladies? No, Lamia's a snake ladies, aren't they? Not fish ladies. Fish ladies are mermaids. Lamia's are snake ladies. That was terrible. Nope, animorphs. Activate. Oh, we're young'uns now. We're young adults now. Ah, everyone's leaving. But I just got here. That was not the voice I used for Watts again. I just can't. I can't get a voice to stick. <laughs> it seems to happen to you a lot at parties. <laughs> I'll save your childish jokes for the insecure. Found it. Found the voice. Yes, snake ladies are the hypnotic look into my eyes, snake ladies. Nada. Hmm. We've got a person here who's in colour. Uh... Doko! How about we leave the party? Ooh, that's... Oop, this shit, I'm out. This way. For any without glasses is kind of hypnotic. Wow. I don't know why that's a compliment. Just go. Uh, no, can't go any further up. Okay. What am I supposed to click on? May the cursor change shape. To actually point me in the right direction. Can I go down here? Yeah, I can, but there's nothing down there. Um... Oh, the, the, the pickles! Not the pickles. Olives! Worse. Worse than pickles. Olives. A glass bowl of pickled olives. I see Le Fromage, but where is Le Mouse? That's the corniest remark you've made all night. Don't you mean the, uh, cheesiest remark? Oh, Dr. Watts. Whoa. And then there's the book. An age animorphs book. Great. What else? What else can I click on? But he is right. I see Le Fromage, but where is Le Cheese? We see the pickled olives, but where is the person who enjoys said pickled olives? We have some old people in colour here, but none of them are clickable. Briny, look into my eyes, void stay awake 24-7. The news, breaking news, someone, dude, is able to stay up 24 hours a day, every day, without getting tired. That's terrible, I would never tell someone to do that. <laughs> sleep is important. Sleep is, and I, personally, like sleep a lot. There's like a person down here. But we can't go down there. Oh wait, we can go higher up now. It stopped us before. Yeah, go, 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 go. Oh, hey, young'uns. How you doing? How's life? Oh, 
Oh, suddenly colourful. Do you feel any different? Now that we've got rings on, I mean. Oh, so they're just married! No. Why? Do you? Actually, yeah. I think so. What is it like? It's just different. That's incredibly annoying. Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Responsibilities? Do you like the name Anya? Would you like to name her Anya? I understand. Yeah. Anya is a good name for her. Hey, come with me. Ah, so the wedding dress. Yeah. It's a very cute memory. Oh no, they're gonna smooch. This can't be a good idea. I'll probably trip and fall. Don't worry, just follow my steps. Ah, there's the dancing. Ow, my ass! I think you stepped on my toes. Sorry. Come on, let's try again. <laughs> it's silly things like that that make moments moments, isn't it? To promise, to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live. I do. And do you take this man standing before you to be your lawfully wedded husband? Do you pro to promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live? Yes. And by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you with Mr. and Mrs. Wiles. No. Ah, the wedding. Uh, yeah, what did you think it was? I'm just bad at weddings, that's all. Fluids tend to escape from my eyes. Oh, Dr. Watts is a softie. I didn't know you were that sentimental. D did I say my eyes? I meant my mouth. And by fluids, I mean both fluids and solids. <laughs> he means he gets pissed. That's a lovely image. Thanks, Neil. <laughs> Wilds. You, you didn't, I mean, you, you could mishear it or you could read it because it was W Y L D E S. Come, let's find a way out of here. All this happiness and joy is really putting me off, too. Ugh. Really putting you off, too, huh? No, I just don't like watching people make mistakes. Yeesh, whatever happened to just take it moment by moment. 
<laughs> no, it's pretty gosh calling this a mistake, isn't it? Look at them! They're all romanticized. Romanticized. It may be one of those streams. Maybe one of those streams that I don't pronounce things right. Can I get out? I can. Should I get out? That's a whole nother question. Like, is down here just gonna be that frozen party again? Oh no, no, it's it's the reception. Oh, I'd better go see how your aunt is doing. Alright, Ma, tell her thanks for coming. I will! Bye, Mother. I'm so proud of you, Joey. <laughs> Joey. Oh, that's my grandpa's name. He passed away before I was born. Ma calls me it as a nickname. How come you never told me about that? Because I'd rather you call me John. Ah! Not another sentimental grandparent childhood! What do you have against those anyway? I mean, you sure talk about your grandfather a lot. Oh wait, wrong voice, wrong voice. No, no I don't! Whatever you say. A note for Joey. Let's go see what Grandma's talking about. I'm so proud of Joey. Good for you, lady. Good for you, cake. Cake and, p cake and olives. Cake and olives. <laughs> uh, anyone else want to talk? We have one thing to get, and I still don't know where the teleporter thing is going to be. Yeah, that's that. But we've already spoken to her and we know what she says. She says she's so proud of her, Joey! But I guess this is one of those name. this family is where, like, the kids get the, the, the grandparents' names. Our family did a variant on that. Where the kids were gonna get the grandparents' middle names as... No, m names as middle names. Obviously I can't say said names, but I was lucky they gave up for me. <laughs> my brother got my uh, grandparents as middle names. But I managed to uh, dodge having my grandma's names as my middle names. <laughs> Youngster Joey, but he's gonna beat Briny in a Pokemon battle. With a Rattata. Now I just thought of Lancelot being defeated by a rat with a Focus Sash. I want to talk to him. Can't be helped, River. I'm sure they didn't mean to. Come on, we're late. Wait, is that a rabbit? Think it's the source of all those folded paper ones? Why would she obsess over some roadkill? Not to mention so many years later. Don't ask me. You're the woman here, Dr. Watts. <laughs> I'll be convinced that I'm the only one when you do a cordless bungee jump. <laughs> That is interesting. My mother and father had a tradition where all of the kids' names would start with a C. That's fun. So I can't help but think maybe like she kind of associates rabbits with her wedding day now? Not intentionally, but that's kind of what happened. So maybe it is her way of like trying to remind him, like, I care for you, this is the day we were together. Oh, this is easy. Da -da -da! Wait, if we're going back in time using a rabbit, does that mean that the rabbit's going to be alive next time we see it? 
Also, it means we definitely can't jump very far because a rabbit's lifespan isn't very high. <laughs> we definitely do that to uh, troll players, though. You know, it's a fantastic wedding when the memento is roadkill. <laughs> hey! Maybe she saw it as a metaphor for the terrible marriage. So years later she'll be unfolding rabbits because she was reminded of how rotten it was. I don't- I think it's the other way around. I don't- Obviously, like, dead rabbits are bad omen, sure. But I don't think- Oh, you were the recipient of the crap middle names. Rip, Nogachan, rip. <laughs> you know, something equally pretentious. Cool story, Neil. <laughs> cool story, bro. <laughs> Too long before. Poor thing. What's all these road kills today? Don't look at me like that. Like what? It smells like a farm. And roadkill. Deactivate scent simulator. Get away from here already. Uh, are we going down the road? I guess so. I mean. Did they stop here? No? Okay. I just thought maybe they were on the bus and like we had to stop for the bus. Oh, we can go up here. Horsey! <laughs> da, da, da. Whoa! <laughs> nee! Don't do it. Don't do what? You know what? Don't not ride this horse! True, it, it's there, it's all saddled up, ready to go. What are you, five years old? Okay, I won't not ride it! <laughs> yeah! Quit wasting time, Neil! Oh crap! Oh, that can't be good. Ah, do something! Don't just stand there! Help me! <laughs> Damn it, this was not in the job description. No, doctor, what was on that? What was on that note? <laughs> doctor Neil Watts description, village idiot. <laughs> Wonderful. <sighs> Suppose we better go after him. Is he is he in here? Hello, doctor. Oh, they used to go horse riding together. Where's where's Neil? Neil! Doku! Maybe, maybe I should just go ahead with that. I mean, sort of. So when I was a kid, I lived out in the country somewhere. And it was the middle of the night and a neighbor's horse escaped its pen and walked up to my bedroom window with its younger horse and... And... Scared the shit out of you because it was the middle of the night? I, I would be scared if the horse was randomly at my door in the middle of the night. But I do not live in the sticks. That would be really weird if that happened. Is that really a good idea? She should be okay. She's not new to this anymore. But she's never done it by herself before. I'll be fine. I'm not a child. <laughs> ah? Ah? River! Scared the crap out of me and I screamed, Mom, oh, monster, monster! Oh God, but you would though. She's good, look. 
What's the matter? Let's go! Hey, wait up! Ah. Huh. I wonder if Neil got off that horse yet. <laughs> Eve! percent cooler. I didn't even mean to knock him. This kind of happened. Oh, I just got a thing. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm on a horse. They hit founder. Hi. Oh, so I have enough. So what's the thing? Maybe it's back this way. They never told me how to get off said horse, so uh, I guess I guess we're on the horse forever now. Let's prepare the memento. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> uh, let's do. And then this one. Yeah! Learning! Still not doing the ideal, but you know what? Not taking several thousand years either, so I'm good at that. Here, this will do! But I'm not getting on that horse again! You go get the rest of the memory links! Fair, fair. Already done it. Already done it. Oh, hello, Boris! Gonna be listening in a while. Working this morning. Hope you guys work. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing okay. I hope work isn't too terrible today. Faramosa? What? This is, uh, the diagnosis, certain. Yes, we've reached a consensus on the results. Unfortunately, like in many cases of pervasive development disorders, this is a rather late diagnosis. Had you known when you were a child, miss, it could have saved you a lot of trouble. Do you have any books on it? This one is by Tony Atwood. He is one of the specialists on the subject. You can borrow it free of charge for now. Just don't elope with it. Egg stock. You haven't played Pokemon Sun and Moon? I have, but I don't remember that. Is that one of the Ultra Beasts? Or was that the horse? I don't know. I can't remember. Now, are, are you two a couple? Unmarried and without any other legal certification? Yes, I see. That's a yes. That's a yes. Well, I could give you a referral to a specialised counsellor if you wish. Is there anything unsettling in the relationship? No. And you, sir? No, it's fine. Yeah, one of the ultra beats. It's, it's the big bug waifu, I see. Nonetheless, sir, you should also give the book a read. 
I'll help you understand her condition. I'd rather not. Oh, the way John takes this is so bad. You gotta, you gotta. I think it's healthy in a relationship to have a bit of cute. Knowing that your other part, that your partner's brain will never work the same as yours, and you're always gonna like to step on each other's feet at some point. But I think it's always healthy to have a bit of curiosity on how the other's brain works and go like, oh, but that's how it works. Oh my god. That's cool. I think I think that's always important. Why is that? Well, it's your call. In the meantime, there is a thing called equine therapy that might help her. A ranch just north of here offers it. I can contact them for you. Told you so. Told us to, like still won't tell me what it is. What's this? Oh, I can jump on it. Oh, so the clock is the thing. Okay. Excuse me. Could you please silence the clock? The ticking really bothers her. It's not that severe. I'll be okay. No problem, it's standard policy. If there's anything that makes you uncomfortable, just let us know. <laughs> Thank you. Bless. Ah, I guess explains the ones in the house. Receive note. Clock ticking. Clock ticking really irritates her. The platypus! Stuffed toy platypus. Can't believe this piece of atrocity is dated all the way back here! Looks like someone took good care of it. She's still got a pretty bad taste in animals, though. <laughs> Honestly. I mean, platypuses could be pretty cute, really. Healthy to have a bit of curiosity on how the other's brain works. I'm gonna check my boyfriend's phone to see what memes he likes. Oh god, he's talking to someone else. Not like that. Not like to the point you look through someone's phone. He'll tell you what memes he likes when he sends them to you. I mean, obviously can't leave, so maybe there's something in the other room. Can I get back in the other room? Maybe there's something I missed in here, like the bag? Yeah. Got the bag. About the doctor at his desk. Red note, Tony Atwood. I feel like I could find out the like actual diagnosis from Googling. Because <laughs> everything in this this has been all based off real stuff so far. Animorphs, the Emperor's new clothes. Won't be surprising if the Tony Atwood book is a real too. Hello. Just a bit longer. They'll be calling for you soon. Okay, we got enough. Let's go, Memento! Okay, that one. That one. That one. That one. That one! Yay! I did it in the ideal today this time! Yay! It's a real author! Yeah, it is an author! A person who put up books, that's me. Hello, Priya, welcome. Activate the memento! Let's do the time warp again. Are we a kid now? The movie theater. Is this is this where we meet her? Because this whole scene is in the shape of a heart. Psst, look. I know! I can't believe he wants paid to see this crap in the cinema. No, you idiot. Look where we've leaped.
You've gone straight to childhood. Holy overcooked macaroni! The kid's in the theater by himself! What a loser! <laughs> That's terrible, Dr. Watts. There is nothing wrong with going to the cinema by yourself. Animals, cosplay conventions, wolf head, brony, 500% more exaggerated, eyes, brony, Dragon Ball Z book, Minecraft Education Edition, yada yada yada. Stuff, stuff, list of random shit. You go to the theatre by yourself all the time. That's different! No one's competent enough to match my taste! But that aside, how could anyone last through this rubbish? <laughs> We've leapt back pretty far. There you go, Dr. Watts. We don't have to sit through the rest of it now. And thus, this movie sucks on both a physical and metaphysical levels. Q-E-D. Come on, let's go. What? Oh, right. <laughs> Watts, you're a dummy and I love you. Hey, kiddo, what's up? Whoa, wait. I ain't talking to no emo teenager. Grammar, my dear Watson. Sure, that's not even a full sentence. Let's just look for mementos. Okie dokie. Is there nothing down here? We got the toilet? Nah. Do not feel the need to pee today. Uh, let's talk to this person. Oh, they just disappeared. What about this person? Poof. What are you doing? That's the third person you removed here. Eh, it's not like it's permanent. Why? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? You know that poking them out of the way, like, does nothing, right? And why complain? Hey kid, getting stood up. Now that's a Kodak moment. You relate well with your kin, I see. I don't understand why I'm doing this. Ha, this dude goes to the movies all by himself. What a loser, me with no friends. Okay, I'm perfectly fine with this. I'm gonna go watch Bryony to feel better. She is not my friend, but she acts like one of these. <laughs> Delete everyone, I guess, because I can. Oh look, this place is empty and creepy now. I hope you're happy. I not. Well, there's nothing here. Hate to say it, but I guess we have to nag something out of him again. Or yours. Ah, at least there's no olives this time. Have fun, Mr. Watts. That was really creepy. I don't like how that changed. No, it's the girl! River? You were in there this whole time. I waited for you at the lobby. I thought you didn't come. Why did you leave? I thought we were watching the movie together. Huh? I'm the one that should ask that. What do you mean? We were watching the movie together and then you left. We weren't watching it together. I didn't even know you were there. If you saw me there, why didn't you come and find me? What difference does it make? 
We were watching the same movie in the same room. Does not compute. <laughs> What's wrong? You're so weird. Do you not want to watch the movie together anymore? Of course I do. Come on, let's head back in before it ends. Bless this poor girl's heart. She's like, I don't understand. I feel like I should make a clever remark. You feel wrong. Well, let's hope our ride is waiting for us in there. Okay, let's go in. Why is it so creepy? And I'm like, <laughs> should I delete everyone in here? Can I do that? Okay, so, yeah, it's the platypus. It must be like a comfort thing for her to have the platypus. Prepare the platypus! Uh, I feel like I could do that. Yeah, and then I do that. And then I do that, that, and that. We did the ideal again! I feel smart. Oh, Bryony, have you ever been to a movie theater that is part theater and part fancy restaurant? Um, no, but I have been to one that's part cinema, part library, part bar, part theater, part many things. <laughs> You know, I think this platypus is growing on me. Mostly just for, for convenience, but hey. I always feel like there's gonna be some dialogue after they leave, just cause it like zooms in on them. Oh, we're in skill! Oh, I bet she had an awful time in school. <laughs> this is not her memories, but she's in every single goddamn one. Come on, dude, grow some balls. Um, it's, it's not that. Look, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Oh, sheesh, what could Poplis possibly happen? Just think about it. Worst case scenario, she says no. You strut on like nothing happened, and no one will know, and everyone will think you're cool. What if she tells someone? Oh, yells at me! Don't be a little wuss! Oh, oh, says yes, but really means no! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Shh, quit worrying. And if she throws an encyclopedia in my face. I don't even have a helmet, dear lord! I'm not, I'm still not prepared for this. Dude. Don't panic. Just straighten your spine and quit being a little wuss. Yeah, you tell him! <laughs> what if uh, Bernie yells at you? I, I'm pretty sure I've yelled at you multiple times, Void. You should know what happens already. Everything will be alright. Just turn around. Okay. Okay. Hey, hey, hey what are you? <laughs> now that's a wingman. Ahem. Hello. Uh, he hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Then why didn't you... Ugh, never mind. Um, that's a cool platypus you have there. What are you reading? A book. 
about a platypus? No. Oh. I, uh... I think that's great! <laughs> What's this face plant? Lighthouses. Huh? There are exactly 16 second order friends or lens lighthouses left in the country. Nine of them are coastal, and one of them was modified from a historic Charon's Keep Light Lamp Lighthouse. I don't remember except when I said I'd uh, like a cluster of brownies, and I thought I was being annoying. Yeah, so you've been yelled at twice. Isn't that like plenty of times? Oh, is that what you're reading about? It's so awkward. <laughs> uh, say, do you want to go catch a movie together sometime? I don't know. Oh, that's okay. I'll give you time to consider it. I can't. Why? There's no date or time. Oh, um, how about this Saturday at 8? Well? Oh, God. I'm surprised you might. <laughs> That's a cool plot of us. What are you reading? Gotta try those chat up lines. Ava, I think the system's for up. Yes. Oh, great! Never mind. I guess we'll work out the details later? Hey Bryony, can you chug down some tea if one of them goes me too? I don't have any tea to chug for one, which is a which is an issue, honestly. The fact that I do not have tea right now is always an issue. Um, why would I chug down at this phrase? You may need to tell me. I'm not. I, I I'm I'm having river brain and not understanding your jokes today. <laughs> Um, I'll just, just, just go then. <laughs> What's with the stress? No tea, true crime. Exactly, it is. It's another crime. What? What are you looking at me for? You think I'm gonna kind of call out how utterly awkward that was? Well, just forget it. I'm not giving up to your, giving in your expectations. People go me too. Uh, it feels so cliche and cringe. What do you mean, me too? What do they say, me too, to? Me too! What? I don't. I don't. Brainy does not understand. Give him a break. You're still just a kid. You of all people should relate. What's that supposed to mean? I was never a child! <laughs> Shut up and go. Shut up isn't my name, you know! Pity the platypus. A stuffed platypus toy. Well, I suppose if you look at it from the right angle. No, not really. Never mind. <laughs> I will not be tempted by the platypus. Nope, she's back to reading. Which is fair. What the heck were you doing there, dude? What? I asked her out. No, that was pathetic. If you, if I were you, I would have just barged in there and be like, Hey girl, hey you, go out, we, you, now. She would not have understood that. <laughs> I would have loved to see the reaction to that. She'd be like, What? <laughs> or she would have just like kept reading and never acknowledged it. <laughs> That's just terrible. I know. And I still would have been better than what you just did. Full caveman. Absolute caveman. So did you throw an encyclopedia in your face? Huh? Did she? Shut up, dude. See? See? I'm not the only one who tells people to shut up. And suddenly I feel loved! <laughs> I 
Oh, I'm Dr. Watson at the moment. That's, that's interesting. Leonardo da Vinci trained by drawing eggs. Barrels are like very big eggs. <laughs> Therefore, you'll all be very big da Vinci's. That's awful. What about you? Dear Lord, I can't believe you got me to take this stupid class. Oh, come on, it's fun. Only if you can paint. You'll get good if you practice, you know. Yeah, right. After this class, I'm never picking up a brush again. Or are you? I'll just make up a scenario to try get the cringe across. Brainy, I really love reading books. Person B, me too! Brainy, and gaming, that person B, me too! Whoa, ain't that coincidental? I kinda get what you're saying. Sounds all like an excited baby. Hello! Jack, I'll come, I'll come. I know how to portray the cringe, but if you read a soap opera, you probably understand. I have not read a soap opera. Continue through school! There's a way to go there, but I don't really want to just yet. There's so much to explore. Anyone? Anyone at all? All right then. River, why don't you answer it? I know you know the answer. We're waiting, River. The pressure! These are nightmare scenarios. Fine, I guess we'll have to. He made sail on August 3rd of 1492 from the Spanish city of Paos del Frontera which was founded in 1322 and granted to Alvazar Perez de Guzman, who was at the meager age of 14 by the... Okay, okay, I only asked for the date! Let's see, was that so hard? Yeah, it can be. No one likes answering questions. Good lord! Does everyone with her condition have a near photographic memory? Not really, though I think their rote memory is fairly strong. Have you read any romance novels? Um... Not really. I don't tend to go for romance. I tend to want more fantasy that maybe just happens to have some romance in it. Hello Mark, you remember this game? Yeah, it's a good one, isn't it? Uh, I watched a playthrough when I was younger, but I never actually played it before, so I wanted to play it. Any more awkward memories? Psst! She's coming this way! Alt tab, alt tab! <laughs> Receive note, alt tab. <laughs> alt tab, alt tab. <laughs> that was how you played your flash games in school. Locked. Cafeteria only open only only open during lunch hours. Okay, cool. Let's go over here then. We have explored. Time for gym. That's a wrap. You chumps better be up and at them next time. Ah, an, an atrium. We could use this place later. Just can't believe these court lines are all rectangles in his head. <laughs> I guess he really did not care about what was on the floor. Description of the alt tab note is pretty funny. Let's have a look then. Lifesaver! <laughs> this is amazing. Tony Atwood, author of a series of books on River's condition. Something River can't stand. Franny, you'll get a secret cutscene if you press Alt F4. I am not that stupid. I know I'm not always the brightest bulb, but I ain't that stupid. Oh, hi. Uh, fine, you win. 
Booyah! Doesn't look there's anything else in here. Go. Is it lunchtime? It's lunchtime! Where are they? Where are they? There they are. We've got one more. Where's River? I wonder. Oh, she's all the way over there. On her own, as I expected. Yeah, she's unique, but she's uniquely boring. I mean, just look at her. She just sits there by herself all day with that creepy deformed duck toy. It's not a deformed duck, that's a platypus. Dumb. Did they have cool maths game math games in your college years? No. No, they did not. What the heck's a platypus? Quit making up words. <laughs> anyway, she's just so off, you know? It's like she's from a totally different planet or something. I know, isn't that cool? Ah. Uh, so you're into aliens and that sort of stuff, I guess? Oh, but really, if you want to be weird, why don't you just hang out with the emos and the goths? Well, for what? I don't want to ruin my hair. The fact that we got a name for them says a lot too. Look, Nick. I have played Flash games, but I didn't have cool math games. The Flash games I were playing was like that the, the stick the, the game where you like draw a draw a draw a line and then your stick man like flies off the end, like stick man skiing game thing. There was the Impossible game as well. That was fun. The Impossible quiz. Oh, I loved the Impossible quiz. Uh, I tried to memorize my way through that all the time. It was great. Um, many things. But cool maths games now, well, they weren't educational, that's for sure. <laughs> Not back in my day! <laughs> I just... I just don't want to be another typical kid in a sea of typical people. Toss the turtle! Yeah! I dislike this. He's like, I want to be with her because she's different. Because I want to be different. That's not, that's not good. <laughs> but how the heck would being with her change up your own identity? I mean, you'd just be some guy who hangs out with a shy girl. She's not just shy, Nick. There's something strange about her. Being strange isn't always a good thing, you know. Do you even know if she wants to be different? Maybe she wa just wants to fit in like everyone else. And if she does, pushing her the other way wouldn't help, would it? Look, Nick, the point is that I know what I need. And she's the one who has it. So you want her for what she has, but not for her? That's cold, man. I just hope you know what you're doing. I do. I think you're wrong, though. People aren't that typical. Everyone's unique in some way. That's just what Grandma tells you. Oof. Cool math games taught me how to math out when the teacher is gonna roll up and tell me to get back to work. And a lot of math went into figuring out to the teacher's patterns. Wait. So this guy's some kind of human hogging hipster. That's sort of uh disturbing. It kinda is, yeah. You know, sometimes I want to slap our clients upside the head. It's high school, everyone was a bastard. It's not wrong. But hey! Welcome to the club! Wait, so this is what he told her about at the cliff. Suppose so. 
She then went cuckoo and began to make those creepy rabbits again, right? Because he confessed this from who knows how long ago. I guess she's plenty good at holding a grudge. I'm not buying it. Something feels missing. Then go get a hat, Sherlock! Come on. I think our passport's leaning against our table there. It is, but I'm missing a thing. Let's see if we can get the last thingamajig before we do. I'm envious that this kid was still here to help him move pianos when his hair grew all white. Wish I was still in contact with my childhood friends. Let's go have a look a lonely girl. Reasons and intentions aside, it's pretty remarkable that they actually met in high school. How many of those go for on for more than a month nowadays, huh? Don't know about you, but mine went pretty swimmingly! Yeah? So swimmingly, it swam right out of the window! Sounds about right. I just love how every time we see this thing, we're guaranteed a free memory link. It must have been, it must have left a big scar on his mind. As it did mine. Wonderful! Thank you, Platypus. We appreciate you. Did they have teachers that were tilted doctor? Titled doctor in your schools? No, we did not have any doctors in our schools. <laughs> Just, just, Mr. and Mrs. Should I even? No need! I'm all good now! What are we gonna get? What are you gonna get? Ka me Oh, for walnut's sake. ha me Hey! <laughs> Not cool either! Not cool at all. I was ready to deliver. <laughs> you had a high school teacher do trial doctor? That's pretty cool. Never block. Never fucking block someone in the middle of a kamehameha. What? <laughs> oh, Eva. How dare you. So rude. Uh, I feel like that needs to do that, so that does that, and then maybe we do that, and then that does that, and then we can do that, and then, and then, then that, and that, and that, and that, and that. And that. Yeah! It's only two above the ideal, it's not terrible. Let's go. At least Brian doesn't need to scream at the top of her lungs to become blonde. Yes, I'm already that powerful, so like, there's no point in going any stronger than this, really. <laughs> I'm going to school now, Ma. Have a nice day, Joey. My baby boy, growing up so fast. Uh, he doesn't really like being called Joey, though. That's his dad's name. Oh, what if he was a girl? Would she still call him after his grandpa? It wouldn't be that bad, actually. Since it ends in EA. A -A. Hey, Joey. Joey, Julie, Julie. Sounds cute. If it sounds cute, if it sounds so cute, why don't you marry him? Ah, jealous. Oh, yes, so jealous. <laughs> He's not growing up fast at all. You're just perceiving time to be making go much faster. <gasps> Speaking of perceiving time, I watched a movie recently. Um, it was called The Night Is Young. Walk it's a walk on girl. It was it was a bit trippy. It's by the same director that did the Devilman Crybaby anime recently. 
Um, I say recently, that was probably still a few years ago now, but hey-ho. Um, the passage of time in that movie was really good. Everyone had watches that were going at different speeds because like, of their general perception of time. It was really cool. I really liked the idea. Highly recommend that movie. Uh, I'm gonna go with his room. There's definitely, definitely memory stuff in his room. Oh, so the football is the thing. Okay. Going to sleep feels like the weight function in Skyrim. I wish it was. Because then you could, like, dictate how much sleep you get. Well, to be fair, a ticking clock is pretty annoying indeed. It do but be it is! Hey, Mum! Oh, Blair, not again. Holy crap, my mind's totally blown! You're pretty easily impressed. It was cucumbers, not olives! We don't get to go, do we get to go outside? Can we go? Various books with smudged titles. Is there anything on the other side? Yeah, just the same thing. No, 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 no. I take it that's mom's room. What is the sofa? Oh, just sitting on the sofa got us one. Nice. <laughs> right, let's go to the football. One, two, three, four, five. Momento prepare! Uh, I feel like this one and this one and maybe this one and this one I've done it really good the other way around, because if I do this, and then I do this, and then I do this... <laughs> yeah, I've messed this one up a lot. My overall is naff. I'm sorry, Rosalyn, Eva, I am messing with your personnel scores here. I do hope you're not scored on this. Oh wait, I need to press it to actually do the thing. I forgot. I forgot. Alright, Brandy, gotta go. Enjoy the rest of your stream. Bye-bye. Thank you for popping in, Void. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. What you thinking about? Oh, Lord. We're in a Void. Ah! Smells like roadkill again. Where are we? Eva? What? What the hell is that? What? What is? What is what? Oh shit! I forgot about this. Does he not remember? Oh lord. Have we found trauma? And that's his next memory. Yeah, but why is it going Lapita on us? I don't know. It's just not linking the memories together for construction. There must be a malfunction with the machine's ADG. Again? I thought the last fix was foolproof for another half a year. Ah, oh, I can't believe those idiots in the maintenance department. Look, don't worry. We've already gotten the teenage years saved. We might still be able to do this. Alright, but I ain't telling you about this. As long as we succeed, he doesn't have to know. Well, I guess this is it. There's nothing we can do here. Ready to finalize before act activation. Ladies first! He's done- he's done something to, like, block out his own childhood. What a shame. I was actually looking forward to it. 
Because he said he doesn't know why he wants to go to the moon, so... Act 2. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the fair, far end of the sky. Don't disturb them. They might not wake easily, but they need the concentration. And all that was just act one! Yup. Learning of how much, how messed up his relationship was. And how, I don't know, he made a relationship with this girl and kind of did not know what he was biting off. Clearly loved her anyway. Stayed with her for so long. That's all this old fool knows. <sighs> Sorry, I can't help more. Then that'll have to be enough. Aye, all it's like to do is linking your memories, linking your registered desire to go to the moon with to your early memories. Then we'll pull the switch and voila! You'll be on the moon in no time. I have a question. If you could make Lily disappear, if you can make a Lily disappear, that means you can alter this world. Then, can you not simply make things happen and fully wish, fulfill my wish here and now? That would work if this were one of one true set of memories. What do you mean? What is this then? What am I? This is just a copy. A canvas for us to work with, if you will. As for you, you are merely an algorithm traced from Johnny. Enough to reflect his likeness, but far from complete. That's terrifying. All we can do is prepare this canvas in a logical, logically consistent way. And then, when we transfer your registered desire to your childhood, the machine will generate your new life. One where the desire dicti dictates your behavior. The result of that would be written to the real John. So you see, even if we satisfy you, you are merely a read-only program. I mean, we could reset you over and over again and that's enough. Oh. Don't be so sensitive. He's not real, you know. If you truly believe that, why do you even care to explain? Get called out. I'm just trying to save time. Let's go. Doctor. Is that... What I am? I truly am? At the moment, yeah! <laughs> Oof. Oh, by the way, you're just like a copy of someone's memories, and they're just in, in a copy and a copy and a copy. Ah, all of our night's work. Bum, bum. And then we couldn't get to, uh, like, actual childhood. That's as far as we got. Why are you a fish, Dr. Watts? What the? At least give me warning first. What can I say? I like being ahead. <laughs> I'd ask if that's a pun, but I'm afraid you'd say yes. Let's do this fast. I feel silly enough in this form as it is. All we need to do is pass his desire from the latest memory to the earliest.
Okay, so line up two matching mementos on the edges. Um, trans use the use the trick. So yeah, like that. And then we have to use this one to line up something. Can this one line up the bunny as well? No, that's the only one that can line up, but maybe it can line up this way. And then I need to see what's, what could line up here. So it's the bunny rabbit that's gonna line up here, so... Line that up. And then... What's... The book. The book needs to line up. So the bunny needs to be there so that the book can line up. Eva, check this out! Om nom 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 <laughs> Seriously? Okay, but we need to reconnect this up. So it needs to be like that. Ooh, or does it? No, the bunny has to be down there. Because it's got to be the bunny. Uh, do we have anything else we could connect with that one? No. Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy. Uh, what's the one connector for this one? I don't see a platypus. I don't see a book. Definitely not a football. Oh, it's already connected. I don't have to have them all connected at once. I see. And it's the clock. Uh, uh, there we go. We did it. I thought we had to have them all connected at once. We're fine. Okay, so they all should have the desire to go to space. Ding ding! That's about all the ones we can work with. Ready to pull the switch? You know me, always ready! Pull the lever! Ba -ba -da -ba. All right, let's go check out what souvenirs you brought back from the moon. Ladies first. Not this time, hon. <laughs> Wait, how do, how do, do I, can I just, ah, cool, I just have to tag him. This is the same setting as the last accessible memory. Usually there's at least some change. Something isn't right. These memories, they feel more than just having happened again. They're exactly the same. That's impossible! The desire was transferred, was it not? It was. Do, 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 do. Johnny? What a pleasant surprise! We don't get many visitors around here. Deja vu again. My name is Dr. Eva Rosalind, and this is... What? I'm not gonna say it twice. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Regeneration? Oh, you two are from the Agency. How convenient, I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Freeze him too. Well? 
wait here. I'll go send the desire signal again. See if there's any changes. It transferred successfully, for sure. Any changes? Uh, not even a hair. How could this be? How could this be? Even if his desire doesn't work alone, the... Why is there no change at all? Perhaps... Perhaps it needs some provoking to activate? From his early memories? The earliest we can get to. Let's go. Oh no! To the earliest is the cinema. Johnny's desire to go to the moon might need some stimulation to be brought up, huh? Well then. <laughs> what the? This wasn't what they said was playing. Oh well. Do you mind, River? No, I like this one. Alright, let's go then. Sass! Hopefully that's enough for an ignition. Wait, where's Neil? Neil! Did you see to the moon? How was it? Eh, it had a bit too much pretense for me. I prefer my movies to it more... Oh, je ne sais quoi. Neil! Oh, he's in, he's in there watching the movie, isn't he? He's in there. No? Neil! To the moon, darling! Ooh, Henry! Dear Lord, I'm way too tired and hungry to be constructing movies. I guess I should see if anything's changed with John. Hello! Do you like it? Sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. Anything? Nope. It's the same. It's all the same. I have to try igniting it somewhere else then. This is ridiculous. I need to traverse through John or try somewhere else. Oh, okay. But I can't get past the lady. Li Lily? Sorry, John, I need to use you as a portal. Perhaps something here could work? Your book is about the moon now. I don't have time for her right now. She is, she's everything though. What are you guys doing here? It's starting, let's go get a good spot. Wait, I don't remember that happening. Something must have changed. Hey, don't squeeze. This is so much nicer to direct with uh, arrow keys than with the mouse. <laughs> Although I need the mouse to like scan the area. Wait a minute. This isn't a real change, this is May I have your attention, please? As you know, I am a representative sent from NASA in all its glory. And I'm here to tell you all about it. Hit it, Timmy! <laughs> Whoa, that was terrible. But I digress. Anyways, I know that many of you are wondering What chances do I have doing something as awesome as adventuring in another realm? To inhale 
feel the sweetness of Venus to swim counterclockwise through the rings of Saturn. Or perhaps just chillin' on at the backside of the moon. Well, here at NASA we believe that with enough with enough will, everyone has the potential. It could be you or you or perhaps you <laughs> Say what you want about Dr. Wards, but he's putting in He's putting in this much effort after pulling an all-nighter directly after a car accident. He is a good egg. He's a- he's an- He's a unique egg, but he's a good egg. <laughs> but I don't want to go to the moon. Then you're in the- Wait, what? Why not? Why should I? I'm happy here on Earth, as it is. Well, don't you want to go there even- even a little bit? No, why? Not even a tiny bit? Uh, no? Well, as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some facts about the moon! To start off, the moon is 4.5 billion years old! And did you know that its surface is about as big as Africa? It's true, in fact. If you tried to bike around the moon... <laughs> also, it takes 1.5247 seconds for light to travel to the moon from here. And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days. I knew that. <laughs> and last but not least, People who go to the moon get rich and famous! And we all know that rich plus famous equals groupie! <laughs> so, that includes, concludes my presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you, especially if you're a brunette! <laughs> oh, what? I love you. Well, what did you think? NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it was blatant enough for this. Ah, oh, I do try pretty hard. Are you going to see if that worked? Of course! Be right back! It's not going to work, does it? It's not going to work. Back! Report. Ultra failure! Deuce. Hey, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there are still things to be done. Such as? Well... Yeah, if they can't influence him as far back as they can go... Gotta get past that trauma. We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay for her trip. But you can afford a lunar trip lottery! If you sell this house, you sure can! She, he's never gonna sell the house. He's never gonna sell the house. Is the diagnosis certain? Yes, in fact. Did you know that NASA has excellent healthcare plans? It's true for both you and your spouse. That, that's a fair one, that's a fair try. Free pony rides in space! <laughs> oh look, a wedding! Good for you! But here's a riddle. Guess where you should go for your honey moon? <laughs> Wonderful. River. <laughs> Dang, damn it! Glass! Slippery! Johnny! John! John! <laughs> what the cucumber? Here. You know what? You know what? This is just working. It's more than just not working, it's ridiculous. We're freaking professionals! I didn't sign up. 
for the job running around yelling at him like an idiot. You didn't? Because I did. <laughs> Look, this may... It, maybe this is lack of sleep getting to us. I don't know if it's just the voice, but getting Monokuma from once. <laughs> maybe it's just the voice. It's going to the moon, Ty! I'm honestly surprised my throat's okay with this. I thought it was going to kill me, but I'm actually doing pretty okay. <laughs> Had I known we'd be an all-nighter, I would have brought coffee. I agree. You should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. What movie? Exactly. Anyway, as valuable as time is here, this just isn't going anywhere like this. Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully Johnny can hang on till then. I do have some calls to make. Time to have a well-earned bloody rest. Your honey mood. And she was yelling at him for bad puns before. It's terrible. It doesn't make sense. Why did the machine have no effect? Johnny registered. Johnny's registered wish to go to the moon was successfully transferred, yet there wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Unless... Unless a secondary condition for the desire was changed in the process. Only then would the same desire produce two different outcomes at two different points in time. There's no denying that River played an important role through it all. If there's anything that could have caused the core to change, she would be the top suspect. But out of all things, what exactly caused it? River. Just what exactly did you do? Ah. The sun's rising. We don't have much time left. I wonder if Neil came up with anything. I mean, he might have come up with something. Whether it will work and whether it's actually good is another question. However, I do not doubt this man's ability to think on his feet. He is actually very smart. Fine. Do you want me to use my mouse? I will. Oh, she was she was getting caught on a flower. Ugh. You can smell that squirrel meal. Ran over all the way up here. Let's head on upstairs. How's it going? How's John doing? Barely hanging on. What are you two doing? We just... We just couldn't make any progress. You'd better be soon. We don't have long. If you're looking for your colleague, I think he's in the kitchen. That's not this room, right? What's this room? Oh yeah, this was the bathroom, I remember. I remember. Okay, back outside. Back outside, Eva. Well, oh, not back outside, back downstairs. Down the apples and pears. Go on, go down. Uh, was this the kitchen? Yeah. No, I understand that part, but... Okay. Did you confirm it in his records? And why, again, was this information not available, made available to us? Or the medical doctor, for that matter? Why did you get that coffee? Shh! Are you speaking with headquarters? Yes! I'll fill you in after! Now shh! 
but coffee. She's gonna die. I'm not sure, I'll have to check on that. This poor woman's gonna die if she don't get that coffee. Also, turn the fucking light on. I suppose, suppose we'll leave him to it for a little while. Come back upstairs, wait for him there. Maybe. Or maybe I need to sit down and now what's the game want from me right now? How do I make plot go plot? But what if, okay, I suppose. Right, that part we can do. I'm not sure, we'll just have to check on that. Right, that part we can do. Hmm, I see, I see. Not sure, we'll have to check up on that. Maybe we'll go into the creepy bunny room for a bit. Because we can. Ding! Hello, creepy bunny room. We never really got a good look through you before. It has a broken music box in it and all the folded rabbits. And there's the item of books. No, nothing in here. Come on, I go to school. It's Sunday, dear. <laughs> Let them sleep. Okay, I will. I won't poke them. Looks like they've been at the books. There's some painting stuff. So he did get into painting eventually. Can we talk? I'm bored. I really should have watched those two last night. They were up late. Well, it's not an everyday circumstance. I suppose. Oh, was there something you wanted to ask? Uh, let's ask about you. You know, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. With two children and all, I mean. It's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. But how did you even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What happened? He was in the army, and they were the last batch to be deployed overseas. Sorry to hear that. I panicked. Our savings were low, and the job market was grim. Johnny saw my ad and offered me the, his job. I accepted it with gratitude. This place was peaceful too. It helped my grieving. Doesn't the government issue grants to war widows to help them get back on their feet? They do, and eventually I received aid. But by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place too, and so we stayed. As for Johnny, he was glad as well. I'm gonna miss him. I think deep down, he really wanted a family. Tell me and Sarah. So what are you going to tell them about John? I... I don't know. Kids are smart, they'll figure it out. Might as well. It's the nature of life, there's nothing to hide. I, I did skip over a bit of dialogue there, oopsie doopsie, oh well. This is your full time job, isn't it? What will you do when this is over? What is, else is there to do? Find a job in the city and live on, I suppose. It's a shame though. I'm gonna miss Johnny in this place. Maybe I'll come back to visit every once in a while. Are you done yet? Oh, hey. Before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me that you two would probably be coming soon. He said that he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but he wanted me to tell you thanks for him. 
So, thank you. If we can actually do it. Bro, are you done with your phone call already? My dude. He is! Hmm. What is it? It seems like our little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records, to be exact. Apparently, during his youth, he was administered a large dose of enhanced beta blockers. And what luck! They tend to have this little side effect on curious things called memories. I mean... Beta blockers. Maybe it's it an anxiety thing. That's that's beta blockers. Are like they help for panic attacks and stuff. Beta blockers. Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Or heart conditions, because they calm down the heart, and so they give them out for anxiety attacks too. Which leads me to wonder if the side effects were intended, or merely just that to begin with. On such a large amount. Its impact on his memories at the time of administration must have been significant. You think that's what kept us out of his earliest memories? Well, it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. The machines, the maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. So what now? I was just given the reconfiguration frequencies that should get us past the blockers. And once we're in his childhood, we might finally be, able, be early enough to transfer his desire for it to work. And what are we waiting for? Just one thing. To finish his coffee? Of course. There's always what, that one thing. In order to activate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. A trigger? Something that exists strongly in the bridging inaccessible, inaccessible memory. And we'll need to give it to John for him to simulate the memory internally. But what do we know of that? That we've only gotten a glimpse of his childhood memories. And even if we find a childhood photo or something like that, John's unconscious. Yeah, back to square one. Oh lordy. You know, this job hasn't been such a pain in the ass since Nora's case last year. Likewise. This is killing me. I'm gonna get some fresh air. Ahem. Forgot my coffee. Bitch, I was gonna drink that. <laughs> Receive note beta blockers. That's a bit strange. What? Quit barging in and out of doors. The roadkill, Eva! It smells! I know, it's your fault for running it over. What? It's stimulus you can get while you're unconscious. Wait a minute. That last memory! The one where we're stuck at! It was the same smell! What are you two talking about? The olfactory receptors are directly linked to the brain's limbic system, Lily. Don't you see what this means? Oh, I'm... What? Poor Lily. He's mean. It means that smell is arguably the most effective sense for memory recall. We can use it to simulate, as, a, as the stimulant, to bridge his childhood memories. And the best part, even though Johnny's unconscious, he's still susceptible! Uh, I, I'm thinking I'm missing some vital contextual info on this whole thing. Alright, this is good. This is awesome. Now, we just need to go fetch that piece of roadkill. <laughs> yes, I'll just... Wait, why should I fetch it? You're the one that ran it over. Exactly! I've already done my part! <laughs> No! Oh, you miserable bastard. <laughs> um, if it 
help Sunny? I have a pair of gloves you can borrow. <laughs> Wonderful. They aren't really disposable gloves, but that'll probably change after this. Oh lordy, let's go pick up some roadkill. Let's go pick up some roadkill. Let's go pick up some roadkill and put it under an unconscious man's nose. Yeah. Hello, little squirrels. Huh, deja vu. It's almost like those squirrels do it every single time. Like they're triggered by being in that part of the game or something. Although it's interesting to have an extra flag for the trigger of deja vu. Eh, stupid flowers. Why, why are flowers so in my way? Why can I not stomp on the flowers? The kind of thing this job gets me to do. Ugh. It's not safe to just bring in a piece of germ-infected roadkill like this. There's a valve container in the car. It'll at least make the odour controllable. Hey, what's, what's you up to? Where are you going? I... I gotta go take a leak. Then why are you going outside and not to the bathroom? <sighs> What's you up to? What a mess. The car shook everything up. Let's see. Ah, here it is. Received the valve container. Now, to get some of that dirty roadkill. Received a contain contained roadkill odor. Lovely. Why do I feel like there's something in the car maybe that... What is this? This? Painkillers? What did we do? Why do I feel like I'm gonna bump into a Dr. Watts here and he's gonna be like, hey, where's my painkillers? I get headaches. <laughs> caffeine gives me headaches, but I can't survive without caffeine. Oh, hey! Did you get the roadkill? It's ready. Great! Go get it set up. I'll be right back. Neil? These painkillers. I think they are yours. Hey! May I ask why you're on them? Wasn't gonna tell you, but... Oh, this, this is embarrassing. Uh, a few days ago, I walked into a concrete wall. You just walked into a wall like that. What can I say? I was deep in thought. You know how deeply I think. These are some rather strong pills, Neil. And it was a rather strong concrete wall! Twas a match made in heaven, I'd say. Anyways, you got the roadkill, right? Let's hurry! John's dying back there! How exactly is he, Neil? You aren't addicted, are you? Are you kidding me?! I'd overdose before I'd sink to that level of contrived mess. Okay... Okay. You think you think of a better excuse? There could be anything. Painkillers could give out for God knows what. 
So when we get to that exact point, I will send a signal. When I do, I want you to release the valve for about three seconds. Certainly. About time you showed up. Have you made sure the germs are sealed off? Fully sealed and filtered. Not like it mattered to a dead man. You should know that Johnny's condition is deteriorating fast. This might be your last chance, you two. Whatever you do in there, good luck. Luck's the last thing we need. Luck is always the thing you need there. Oh. Act three. And as soon as it lets me, I'm gonna save because I did not realize that we'd gone past two hours already. Tick, 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 tick. Let's go. Not yet, we're not. Oh lordy, he's in red. Oh lordy. Let's save. And that is it for today. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming. Thank you, everyone, in the chat. Thank you to anyone who lurked. Thank you to anyone who watched the VOD. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, if you have not already, I would highly appreciate it. If you could leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you're on Twitch, if you could follow the Twitch, that would be great. Uh, I'm trying to get to get my 5k on the YouTube and we'd like to get to the, the, the 50 on, on the Twitch um, because, you know, for the affiliate. Uh, I will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow's my birthday! I'm old tomorrow. Older tomorrow. <laughs> I'm already old, but older tomorrow. Um, I'm not telling you what we're playing. I'm not telling you what we're doing. You'll find out when we get there. It'll be great. Turn up tomorrow for a special birthday stream. Um, and if you'd like to support me and buy me things for my birthday, there is a link to um, a throne account where you can buy me things. Or if you would just like to support in other monetization ways, there is memberships so where you can get emotes, exclusive streams, Discord channels, and merch discounts. There is the Patreon where you can get short stories and free books as well as most of the things on the membership there's the kofi where you can just throw money at me and i get kind of better get better rates than super chats and the general merch store where you can get ebooks first edition copies of my books bookmarks keyrings t-shirts and notebooks and, and a soft pillow with my face on it yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow i had fun i hope you had fun this has been Brandy Westman. Life has been library. Goodbye.